Oh, ching, ching, ling, ling. Me immortals, welcome back to a meandering session. Meanderings. For Karen right here. Hey. One, this is me immortals podcast, and today we're going to be doing a meandering session where we talk a little bit of whatever is on our mind. Yes, please. Uh, I've got some a little story of my recent car service uh-huh. uh, and some of the ridiculousness that I experienced, and, and some something to be on the lookout for. Something okay. Look for. I've got a little bit about. Monkeys. I've got a little bit about dead people. I've got a little bit about female dragons. I've got a little bit about clothing, and I'm Ooh. wrapping this all up with a discussion about Buddhism. Okay. Gee, plenty on there. Should we start with the mere mortal moment? Yes, we should. Let's do it. Mine is all that is shiny ain't gold. All that is shiny ain't gold. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Mine is no sex with monkeys or dead people. What kind of boring religion is this? Count me out. So I'm gonna have some monkey sex. I'm okay, gonna, let, let's, let's, let's hear yours. Let's let's talk about yours. Okay, all right. So for the first time, I mm. actually was like, all right, I've been doing a little bit of research into Buddhism. I'll actually get one of the texts. So on my Kindle, I got yeah. the. It's called the Vina, Vinaya Vinaya Pitaka. So okay. essentially, in Buddhism, in the the main text of Buddhism is called the Tripitaka, mm. and in that, it's got three main sections, and this is. One of the one of those sections, one of the main ones, and it's mm. mostly related to monks and sort of the scholastic path and the okay. rules and regulations they have. So I just grabbed this and I'm like, all right, I'll give it a chance. Mm. So get it on my Kindle. Okay, how many pages is it? It's like twelve thousand pages. Fuck. Nice, easy. All right, good, good. I love a good book. So I start getting through it and I start reading. Uh, you know, it's got an introduction from the editor and the translator so they're going mm. over all these things you know most of it's pretty standard yep. the buddha in this term in buddhism whatever it is it translates to roughly as lord mm. this person is translated roughly as like honorable one yes. things like that so notes on the text real sort of plain boring stuff yep. and i'm like cool i want to get into the meat come yeah, on yeah, yeah. skip this so i was the good stuff I, I sort of skim read that just because just to get an idea of mm-hmm. of anything potential that might uh, trip me up so then I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading, and I get to the first section, and immediately it's like the Buddha comes across as a complete asshole. Holy yep. shit! This is pre Buddha when he becomes. No, Buddha? this is this. Is, um, I, I guess like in his well, when he's alive, he he wasn't really known. I guess it, it's hard to tell, but okay. uh, you know, a guy comes up to him, he's like, "Oh, venerable one, mm. you, you're not bowing to you know the wise sages who come along to you." He's like, yeah, because fuck them. I'm the, I'm like the man. I got this all shorter, man. <laughs> I've got it all sorted. This out. is, you know, this is a rough interpretation, Kyron's interpretation yeah, of, yeah, yeah. of uh, the Buddhist text. Mm. So he comes across initially as like a little bit of an asshole, mm. and then I'm like, oh, okay, well, whatever. I'll skim to this. I, I read it, and then I got to the next bit. Yep. And then the next bit, it's talking about the things that you can and can't do as a monk. And so, mm. what are the, some things you can't do with monks, and which need explicit Detail Detailing. Okay. saying yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what you, you can should and not can't do. This. do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, I don't think it was the first one, but it was maybe like the fifth or the seventh or the tenth, like real early on. Mm. Um, a monk, it, and it starts. So it usually starts with a story, uh, like a mini story of mm-hmm. one to two paragraphs, and then it'll get into uh, why this is wrong, and then sort of like the result of that. So, are you going to get expelled from the monastery? Gotcha, is it okay. a simply bad conduct is it like a suspension mm-hmm. so you know but a list of school rules almost yep. should should uh, see these in the schools and so what was that one talking about um you know this this guy he meets this monkey and he starts feeding the monkey and he's like oh you know what i'm gonna have sex with this monkey of course as you now, do of course the other yeah, ones yeah. the other monks notice that when they have food around this monkey turns around, offers up its butthole, and mm. is like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so, they, so they're going, what's going on here? This is a bit strange. This and is so, not like the usual monkeys. And so then they just like hide in a corner. Yeah. And Who, then the monks? The monks. The, hi- yeah. the monks hide in a corner and then wait till old mate comes back into mm. his room. Monkey does its thing. He has sex with the monkey. Mm. And not even while he's, you know, preparing for it. It's like mid-sex with it. It's like, oh, we got you. Um, and the guys this reminds me of when we were talking about what would you do to get expelled from one of the <laughs> Go fuck well, a monkey. Well, we know now. We know now. <laughs> so, so the funniest thing is like they take him to the Buddha or the the main guy, and they're mm-hmm. like, "We caught him," and he's just like, "Hey, 
You said you can't have sex with females. Mm. You said nothing about female monkeys. Female monkeys. And so this is like the resultant things. The list then starts going on and on what you can and can't do as a monk. Damn. And you'd think it would be simple enough just to say no sexual stuff. Mm. Like if it's sexual, if you no. think it's sexual, like that... You, you think it's sexual? You want to have sex with that board? That's sexual? No, no. You're not doing that. You'd think it'd be as simple as that. Mm. No, they have to go into excruciating detail. So, some of the things you aren't wow. allowed to have sex with in Buddhism, uh, you're not allowed to have sex with dead people, mm-hmm. you're not allowed to have sex with female dragons, you're not allowed to have sex with a female, no matter the type of her clothing. You're not allowed to have sex um, in any whole orifice or what you think. And so, mm. the, the best one, the one that got me was like, there's a dead body there. Okay. Uh, there's a gate. And they, they're like, put this as a story. This is, all, all of these are stories. <laughs> and so there's a, de- there's a dead body with a gaping hole right next to the vagina. Yep. The monk, he puts his penis through the, ho- the vagina and it mm-hmm. comes out the hole. No, that's expulsion. And then the next one says, you're not allowed to put your penis through the hole and have it come out the vagina oh, either. It's you like, can't do it the other way. No, no. They need to be very explicit. Wow. So I just, I was just reading this and went, this is ridiculous. How, why do you need... <laughs> and in the intro to it, the guy was trying to justify it, saying like, this was in the olden day times, you know, they needed... To, one thing about Buddhism is you need to be very strict on the rules, very things, you know. And I'm just going, man, this... I, I sort of get that. Like, yes, some people are dumb, but man, no sex with female dragons, no sex with, you know... Well, I'm just trying to imagine just how that even came about because let's just take it back a couple of thousand years. And let's just say, for posterity's sake, that a dragon was like a snake or something. And you imagine walking outside and seeing your friend like Vishnu or Pete, and you look inside and be like, Pete, are you fucking that snake? Like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> this is not what we do here. And, the, and then he's Jeez. like just trying to justify it, being uh, like, oh, I didn't know. Like, it I wasn't just, in the rules. Yeah, it wasn't in the rules. I just didn't that know. Is, I've, no, I did not know that. So there's a couple more things. Uh, I'll give a little list to you because I... This was particularly uh, important because I thought this was uh, how you can get boners because mm-hmm. they were saying if it's non-consensual that it's all right. So there was all these stories of men. I actually want to be a monk because, man, these dudes were getting laid. They're sitting around meditating, yeah, yeah. Uh, get a spontaneous erection. Mm-hmm. Some girl just sits on it. He's mm-hmm. not aware of it. No, that's all good. And there's like five stories of a guy huh? being like molested by a chick and, and, and he wasn't aware and of he it. he wasn't aware of it or not consenting to it. And so, so it's th- fine. So it's like, it's all good, mate. Yeah. Man. Um, there would be anyway, some dodgy monks amongst them, for sure. Did you know there are five reasons that an erection can occur? Do you want to have Five reasons? Yes. There are five. So monks, an, er- an erection occurs for five reasons. Okay. So do you want to try and guess what they are? I mean, one would be motivi- motivated by the opposite sex. Okay. Yep. So lust. Like arousal. A yeah, lust. lust. Yeah. Arousal. Um... Happiness? Uh, that's not on there. That's not on there. No, okay. so you're, you're one for two. Arousal. I can't think of others. Okay. What's the others? Frustration? So, <laughs> no. So, uh, monks. An erection occurs for five reasons. Because of lust. We got that. Mm-hmm. Because of excrement. Didn't get that. Huh? Because of urine. Didn't get that. Because of wind. Didn't get that. And then this one is my favorite. Because of being bitten by caterpillars. Ah. And like, no shit, man. You can read it if you want. That's <laughs> what, It's on this bloody text. So, man, these monks, man, they're getting... Uh, Dang, yeah, don't, bother, to, need, don't bother showing yeah, it, man. It doesn't show is, up well. Wow. Well, yeah, I, I grabbed a screenshot from it. So, this is direct from the Vinaya Pitaka, um, the five reasons. There monks. is no offense for that monk. Well, that's what happens. If you get bitten by caterpillars, erection, man. Y- yeah, yeah. So, so like, if you get bitten wow. by caterpillars, get an erection, and a girl sits on your penis... It's fine. You're all good, man. What if the caterpillar sits in your Yeah, what if it... Ooh, I don't know about... <laughs> was there a rule for that? I haven't... I haven't seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah, honestly, man, I've only read like 30 pages of the fucking 12,000. So it's probably in there, to be wow. honest. <laughs> Do you think there's any like good value in there to be found? Um, look, I, I'm going to make it a goal next month to have a more of a, a skim through. So not read everything, but... You that's know, insane skip, if that's a skip, skim through, though. <laughs> skip to the next passage and, and you know, skip, skip to the next section of... Mm. maybe proper conduct for a monk in a meditation hall that, yeah. that sort of stuff there might be some value have you read any reviews on these texts to be like <laughs> no, what do people I, think I should do that I should go into oh, Goodreads because someone would just like <laughs> someone would just make like random <laughs> shit in their band like oh my god now I know why that happens when caterpillars bite me yeah 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 Jeez, man. <laughs> that's crazy it, it's like 
half of the people who are Buddhists uh, are just Buddhists because they they're trying to find the answers to like why am I getting these erections? Caterpillars. The caterpillars. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> who would it? Of course, of course. Um, I've, I've got to talk about this. The let me bring it up again. So I was talking about all the shiny and gold. Um, so and more about how to be on the lookout for scam, scams. So uh, I'm going to touch only a little bit on this. Safe Moon, other cryptocurrencies, DeFi coins. The amount of them now that I am just seeing come out of like all over the place is just like insane. And just making it up for random reasons. Um, on TikTok the other day, I saw this guy who posted like two different videos, a couple of days apart. One day he's saying, oh, I'm going to create a, a coin just to see what happens. Five days later, he's like, oh, my coin's worth $5.2 million market cap. So he's made like a couple of million dollars. Then there was another called, ah, shit, you know, what was it called? It was called like the cum bucket coin. <laughs> and it's like up to a $50 million market cap. <laughs> Again, it's like Dogecoin. It's like absolute yeah. nonsense. Yeah. And it's just going like bananas. And it just makes me think, you know, all the shiny and gold, I think there's a lot of, I'm going to say a lot of younger people because I think I look at it now going, maybe I've got spectacles of a more mature person, but I go, there is no way, shape or form I would want to put my money into this. No matter if it's going to quintuple my money, no matter if it's like a hundred bucks cents for a thousand dollars. I almost feel like seeing that go up to a thousand dollars would mean almost nothing. It'd be like so paper worth and the, like how much it moved and go, nah, that to me, that's not shiny. That is just like some chaotic stuff about to happen. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, every, every age has its, you know, tulip it's craze, mm. the, the gold rush, the whatever it is. And there is some value. There's a value in the gold rush. Sure. Right? Yep. You go there and then it's actually, you know, the people who really get rich from it aren't the people... It, you know diving deep into the the gold and actually finding it mm. it's the people servicing it that's if you think um I, I remember reading this a while ago so many companies that are huge like massive massive mm. you know worldwide companies started from places like a gold rush happening they go there and they service people so they give mm. them the food they give them like the clothes or whatnot and that's how you create you know this immense wealth mm. not being the dude jumping into Actively the coins. Doing it, so, yeah, yeah. honestly, you would probably, if, if I wanted to get wealthy now from this, mm. I would be looking at more, okay, how can Servicing I service the currencies. people mm. getting into these cryptos and whatnot? Like, maybe designing websites for people who create cryptos. So, yeah, 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 like, this a is idea. a website that's, you know, it's tailor suited it's for you. already out there, but... Oh, yeah, for sure. Everything's already out there, but... Yeah, but it just made me think, I just specifically, that note of, like, Safe Moon and a couple of other things are happening, I'm just being saying, wow. Like, I, I think... Some people would see it as shiny and it's gold, but mm. I gotta say that's probably just really, really polished turd. Yeah, and yeah. Who knows um, what's gonna happen with it? Yeah, I mean, like, look, I, I mentioned before, I wanted to try out Bitcoin and Ethereum, mm. and then just us discussing it more and all these other cryptos is making me go, oh, oh. yeah, I'll, I'll get into it someday probably, but mm. I want to wait until the bubble crashes. Do you know? Do you know what the uh, Bitcoin price is at the moment? Have you seen it lately? No gone down to i think it's gone down from the top of eighty two thousand dollars down to sixty one thousand dollars so okay, yeah. yeah it's just 75 percent yeah it's interesting there um, you go i have uh something for you so this is something i gained from the family podcast mm. so i was listening to one of their episodes and they were talking about all about botox and botox yeah yep. well not all about it was all about cosmetic surgery and botox mm -hmm. was a big one in there so and how they were experimenting with monkeys and that's how they found that more monkeys yeah they were seeing like they were looking at the monkeys and they were injecting stuff into them and mm -hmm. realized oh this i don't know exactly what botox is it's sort of like a whatever it is, whatever like it is. It, you know some sort of liquid that does stuff to you mm. uh that is a straight up mere mortal definition if I ever heard one. I feel, I feel stupider. Everyone around me in a 20 meter radius is stupider for hearing that. Uh, anywho, they found that these monkeys mm. have less wrinkles. From that's injecting a, the Botox. Yeah. But I was thinking like, uh, you know, how did they actually measure that? Mm. And I was thinking, you know what? They probably weren't measuring the wrinkles of the monkeys. Mm. The scientists were just noticing, hey, these monkeys are like hot as fuck. Yep. let's have sex with them and so what they were <laughs> noticing that's how this big breakthrough occurred like all what? these scientists were having sex with monkeys this is what I'm imagining and I think the family guys were saying this as well so I'm sort of hijacking it yeah okay but uh, I'm just thinking okay breakthroughs scientific breakthroughs all these massive breakthroughs mm. maybe it's just due to sex and mm. so I'm gonna run some things by you okay and I wanna see what you think so mm. electricity 
it was invented because some dude was putting it to his nipples and was going, holy shit, Ooh, this is okay. good. Yeah, yeah. This is good. The wheel. Mm. Dude first invents the wheel. It's a flashlight. Look at it. <laughs> Something you can put your penis in. The, the most essential thing that I don't know if I would put a, a penis into a spoke wheel. Mate, we've just talked about the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, <a> spoke <laughs> wheel. Maybe not a spoke wheel. <laughs> <laughs> um, radiation. Some dude just like... I want to see what my dick looks like green. Yeah, okay. Does that? Yeah, Holy yeah. shit, discovered uh, radiation. Mm. Elon Musk, he wants to go to Mars. He just thinks there's fucking space aliens out there. He <laughs> just wants to have sex, I'm telling you. He wants to so, elongate. Um, yeah, what about you? Do you think there's a... Uh, where do you think the, the next big breakthrough will come? So AI, for example, mm. or longevity to 150 years. Mm. Where do you think that'll come from? Well, it doesn't have to be sex related. Sounds like it has to be sex related. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds like sounds like someone's gonna have sex with someone that's gonna live to 150. Um, gee, the next big breakthrough on AI. I don't know. Oh, so, so, so I'm, I'm, question. I'm sort of thinking it'll be like it, it's not gonna come from using my theory here. It's not mm. gonna come from a big think tank or you know people just putting enough computing power into it. Mm. It's gonna be like you know some dude's really lonely and he wants to you know have sex with a monkey level of intelligence or something <laughs> so it creates ai to the monkey level of intelligence and then it's like bam that was the breakthrough I mean, that was needed to be honest i could see that happening ai in the sense of someone out there being so lonely but smart wanting to create a robot that reacts and acts emotionally correctly with them mm. when they're trying to have sex or be as partners and, and so that will sort of evolve the level of sentience of these robots okay. to the point it's like oh now you can use them for other things see that's funny because it'd probably be like a stunted robot in some way because you're, you're mm. the characteristics you're just saying are not of a normal human they're because mm. well if, if they were normal they would just go out and do normal human True. things yep. so yeah. <laughs> just think of like what if all the AIs we create are just really like mentally retarded like AI retarded so every AI that's created it's disabled AIs <laughs> it's, <laughs> How, how terrible would that be we're like we, we create all these AIs and it's just like we end up just needing to take care of them because they're like just so, to look after them yeah jeez <laughs> but yeah no I think I, actually I, I do think that that could be a very valid way okay. that emotional like AI yeah. comes to fruition so that's um what was that movie um the one with Will Smith no 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 the guy who creates an AI robot in the is sort of like it's like one dude in a um, oh damn it's going to bo bother me uh, really really famous whatever no nah. doesn't matter can I recall it <clears throat> um, what about uh, something like longevity to 150 years Where, where's the breakthrough going to come through mm. for that I reckon it's going to come from the opposite that we think I, I'm thinking you know there's well meaning people out there there's someone that wants to say like oh we want to try and increase lifespan to 150 years old nah I reckon it's going to come from, from one like asshole or someone who's like a tyrannical king or something like that and being like no I want to rule more for like 50 more years I want okay. to rule for so like a bad way yeah, yeah, yeah. so I reckon it's going to come from a bad way where someone will be like nah I'm going to use half the country's resources to make sure that I live till 150 years old yeah okay and then whatever yeah. comes from that will get extrapolated <laughs> somewhere down the track because I think uh, and I don't know how much came out of it but there was I don't know if it was more in Russia or in Germany but a lot of the you know, the experiments that were done in the 40s and 50s, some of that was taken away. And actually, you know, people were able to read that and then from that able to learn a lot of other things. So, mm. sure, that it was done, like the accident it was done was pretty terrible, but there were some learnings that got yeah, extrapolated yeah. from that and used elsewhere. So I could imagine someone using, you know, funds incorrectly or, you know, punishing other people to get to 150 years old and then someone taking some learning from that and being like oh okay we gotta mm. inject some Botox straight into your eyeballs and then you live to 150 what if it's uh, you know just some dude actually manages to say you know he does everything that he hates so like he stays celibate for you know the, the prime years of mm. his life um, and then he eats all the sh shit food he hates like food he hates does basically mm. everything that he doesn't like doing and then it's like, oh, yeah, that's how you have to live to 150. Yeah, no. And God's like no. up there like, ah, oh, you fucking assholes. You know what the funny thing would be? It would, um, someone like a Dave Asprey or others similar where, you know, they're doing like innumerable things, but like light therapy. And I'm just talking like, yeah, you say light therapy. It's like, oh, one light. No, it's like multiple yeah, different yeah. lights. Yeah. yeah, green light, 
red light, blue light therapy, and then you do all these different food and injections and blood extrapolations, supplements, et yeah. crazy amount of stuff. But imagine if the goal was like, I'm going to get to 150, 180. And it, you know, they got to 149 years old and died. Or they were like, okay, <laughs> like, you know, like got hit by a car or something like that. And they were like, yeah, oh, yeah. you're going to die tomorrow. And they'll be like, no, shit. Like I did all this purely for this and didn't get it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, it's not worth it. I just can't see the worth of where doing that many things to live an extra, let's just give it 30 years even. Hmm. I'm like, ugh, can you, like, can you really, like so far in the future, can you really think that that's going to be that much more value mm. than what you could spend a, a good life at without you know restrictions like what we would see to get to that age? Yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, uh, it's you, so you touched the point there, which is it's it's not just about living you want; it's good mm. living. You know, you don't want to be in some sort of shit hell living. Hole. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, whatever. If you got offered to have, it's half your lifespan, so maybe you mm. only live to forty, but you have three times as much like pleasure or maybe not pleasure but like meaning three times as much just goodness intensity Mm -hmm. in your life would you think about it maybe 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 i think about it maybe it has to be you get get a dose so they give you a dose of like this is what one day of this feels like and then you're like oh okay this is yeah okay then i could make up my mind yeah Yeah. okay yeah i might go for that yeah yeah Yeah, it's it's a hard one because then it would be like you'd have all these weird decisions of like you know, some people would just say no, and so you, then your life is detracting because you don't get as much time with them, hmm. for example. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a tricky one. Some I've got a little last, last final one for you. Okay. So, yep. just a little story of my cargo service the other day, mm-hmm. and you know, your experiences of you know people uh, delaying, not coming at the right time, you know, people being late. Yeah. So, I understand that when you, you know, getting with someone, it's like you're going to go meet someone or whatever may case may be. But this time around, I, you know, I'm paying for a service, and they said, "Be there." Uh, it was like, "Be there at 7:45 a.m." Okay. Be there at 7:45 a.m. I'm like, "Okay, cool. I will be, but I need a, um, like, the shuttle bus to take me to a particular location afterwards." So like, "Oh, okay. Then you'll need to get there at 7:15 because you know it's gonna it's gonna be early." I'm like, "Okay, cool. I constricted my workout in the morning. Didn't go and do the stuff I wanted to do. Was quick. Got there at 7:15. Right? Got there at 7:15. They didn't come." And like, come to the car to even like ask me anything until 7:45. And at which point they were like, "Oh, okay, uh, we've got a couple of people using the shuttle bus, so we just have to sit over here and wait for the shuttle bus." Mm. At that point, I'm like, "Okay, this is." And I won't even tell you all the back outside because they originally told me to go to one location, and then they were like, "Oh, by the way, we're in a completely different location." And I had called up to book in one location for the fact that it was near my workplace yeah, yeah, and yeah. this was further away. So fast forward. I'm now sitting there. I'm like, okay, hopefully it'll be pretty quick. Like, you know, they said for me to get here earlier so the shuttle bus would be coming. One hour later, the shuttle bus took me and two other people to oh. the same location. At which point I was like, oh man. And like five minutes before that, I was actually messaging someone saying, look, if this doesn't come in like the next minute, like I'm going to get an Uber and go. Like I don't care at this point. So, okay, cool. I was pretty annoyed, but they said, look, uh, I gave the person the phone number. Like, look, you need to pick me up at the same location at one o'clock. She's like, oh, yep, totally fine. So one o'clock comes. Do you think I've heard from them? <laughs> yeah. No, not at all. So I, I go I, to the... Are you surprised at I, this So stage? I wasn't surprised. Yeah, yeah. So I went to the location at one o'clock thinking, these people aren't going to call. They're just going to be rock up. One o'clock, they're not there. I wait a couple of minutes, nothing. Okay, cool. I walk back to work, which is about a 10 minute walk. On the walk back... I check my phone, they're giving me a call, so I pick up, like, oh, we're on our way, we'll be there in five minutes. Walk back. Wait another 40 minutes, <laughs> waiting for them. And I, now I can't do anything, because they're coming to go pick me up. And they got there 40 minutes, and then she had the audacity, she had the audacity, I'm not even going to call out names or anything, but she had the audacity to be like, oh, I've got to go the long way, because I've got to go drop off someone else. And she hadn't even picked up someone else, so I had to go pick up someone else, drop them off elsewhere, take me back. By the time I got to the car, I was like, Oh my god! And then you know they were trying to be all lovely and say, "Oh, you know, I uh, hope you really enjoyed our customer experience." <laughs> blah blah. They're like, "We'll send you a survey so you can fill it in if you'd like." And I was like, "When I get that email, please, please, please give me the email so I can provide you some some feedback." <laughs> so I wanted to end with, oh, you know, if you're wasting people's time when it's not a service, when it's like <sighs> personal stuff, okay, like I'm already annoyed at you. But if I'm paying you for a good service, like I'm paying you for a service mm. here, do not waste my time like that and so in my mind I'm like I am never ever going back 
to this particular oh, of course car. Not. I was yeah. like, there's no way. And like, yeah, I'm just waiting to get that feedback and be like, I'm never coming back to you again. Now, Goodbye. Now, now, this is hilarious to me because we were probably, what, three weeks ago talking about another place that was shitting you around with tires for your car. Yes. So, was this <laughs> yes. a different place? This was a different place. It was a different so, place. Okay, so it's just uh, Australia's just got shit. Yeah, just some shit places, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'd think, and I actually told someone else about the story. And it was like, it was so interestingly how, you know, I probably have the, for this particular brand, it's like the highest car of their lineup. It is like, it is a top end car hmm. of this particular brand. And still. So there's like, there's like where they're going to make the money from. Yeah. Like, and this it's is... still the shit service. I was like, oh my God. And yeah, I, I told you the price of it. Like it's pretty expensive service. Hmm. And all they did was they vacuumed it and they checked the oil. That was it. Mate. Mate. That's it. I'm going to leave the meanderings here before yeah, I get, yeah, go, yeah, get yeah, frustrated yeah. and get an erection. <laughs> <laughs> before, before I get a bill of bars, I'm not going to get an Maybe that can be the sixth one. That's Poor the sixth car one. servicing is... is <laughs> yeah, you gets me aroused. <laughs> it's so angry with aroused. Uh, uh, folks, if you want to experience uh, arousal as well, uh, what you have to do is the seventh thing that the Buddhists uh, didn't learn, but I'm going to be teaching them right now. Check out the Me Immortals podcast. It is 110% guaranteed. So if you watch us, before we even do it, you'll yeah. already get this tingly feeling. If, if you're paying for Viagra at this moment, you fool. Stop. Yeah. Have you got caterpillars on your face and they're, and they're biting you? Get rid of them. You don't need that anymore. Listen to the Me Immortals podcast. That is all you need. Oh, God. That's all. That's all from us. One out. Brilliant. Woo! <laughs>